more and more Americans are driving electric vehicles instead of cars. Not Teslas or hybrids, though. We're talking about low-speed electric vehicles, more commonly known as golf carts. But these aren't just any golf carts. As David Begno reports, some look a lot like miniature hot rods. You own two. Own two golf carts. One for you, one for your wife? No, one for me to go golfing in and one for me to take her out to dinner and to take her shopping. Since moving to the Villages, Florida, Gary Surge traded in his car for a golf cart so he could get around most days, but not a run-of-the-mill model. His tricked-out candy apple red California Roadster looks more like a hot rod and has safety features, too. Seat belts, turning signals, disc brakes, all of which makes it street legal. We can get to all the rec centers, we can get to all the doctors, we can get to the hospitals. So we prefer just cruising around in our golf carts. This is a community that caters to folks 55 and older. Here, there are more carts than cars. For people who've never been here, this is quite the sight. With over 60,000 golf carts in the villages, it's a major form of transportation for most of the people. Are you saving money with this? Save a lot of money on gas, because um, this is electric, electric powered. So uh, I take it home, plug it in, it's ready to go the next morning, and off we go. Is there enough room in here for your wife? She doesn't mind it? No, my wife loves this. She's half the size of you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. You can buy a car at times, a brand new car, for less than you can spend on some of these golf carts. That's right, from ordinary to extraordinary, can run you anywhere from $10,000 to $50,000. We used to have two cars and two carts. Now we only have the one car and two carts, and we have two street legals. Retired New Yorker Tim Carroll bought his first street legal six years ago. In terms of insurance, this falls under your home insurance. You have to register just like a car, and you have to get insurance. Like car insurance? Oh, yeah, sure. Oh. Absolutely. So this is, uh, what, your showroom? This is my fun and game room. To get one, potential buyers need to go and see the golf cart man. Tony D'Angelo Sr. used to sell cars. Now he owns one of two dealerships in the villages that sell only golf carts. Some of his over-the-top custom wheels have been shipped as far away as Alaska and Canada. For the right price, D'Angelo will build whatever you want. From a classic Chevy to a vintage Mustang. He says business is booming. What's the average age of your clientele? I would say 59 to 99. And they're willing to spend how much? Whatever they feel like it. You sold to a 99-year-old? Yes. Really? They don't care. <laughs> and their answer is that this is what they want. Listen, I wanted to make coffins <laughs> out of golf carts. I'd rather get buried in my car than a coffin, wouldn't you? That's what it's all about. I was uh, born and raised in Atlanta and went to Georgia Tech. And I've always wanted a replica of the Georgia Tech Ramblin' Wreck. Bill Talley from Jacksonville, Florida, paid D'Angelo $17,000 for this look-alike 1934 Ford. Seven days a week, this is how you get around? Yeah, this is how I go to the dining room. This is how I go to entertainment. This is how I take people to and from and go to the post office. This is my chariot. Better than a car? For my application, yeah, absolutely better than a car. What bells and whistles did you want on here? The main thing I wanted was a horn that would play tunes because I wanted to be able to play the Ramblin' Wreck fight song. Yep. And I got that. They are on the path to becoming a big part of our lives. Regardless of cost, Harvard Business School fellow Thomas Bartman says the use of low-speed electric vehicles, or LSEVs, are on the rise, even in urban areas. We expect that as the performance improves and as these manufacturers add more features, they improve safety, they improve comfort, that these will become more and more relevant to the mainstream consumer and the lower prices will bring more people into the market. Major cities like Los Angeles and New York have lowered speed limits, making the use of these environmentally friendly and versatile vehicles more viable. Gary Search thinks we could all take a lead from those over 50. Do you see this becoming a trend in other places around the country? There's over 100,000 people here that live in the villages. And you'll see at least half, if not more than half, are driving golf carts all around town. So I, I think this could be a, a footprint for other cities to take a look at and say, 
could we decrease the amount of traffic um, and parking spaces? Two golf carts fit into one parking space. So it eliminates parking problems, the whole space issue within cities. For CBS This Morning Saturday, I'm David Begno at the Villages, Florida. <laughs> I want one. <laughs> I would ride one, would you? Yeah, I'd like a Maserati if it's okay with you. <laughs> I will say they go a lot faster than I thought. They go about 45 miles per hour. I was thinking a really slow golf cart and you can't tell the yeah. speed there. Well, you that's know, back, that's back up. in a controlled environment with a low speed living in a town like that, I can totally see can how it works. Can you put any more qualifiers on that statement? No, I, I can't. <laughs>